Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown. We have a good one today. It's Bursa versus Diamondback. And this is where the viewers of this channel decide which of these companies make the better handguns. But before we get into it, we need to report back the results from the last handgun showdown, which was Canik versus Taurus. And I thought this would be close, but by a fairly large margin, Canik ran away with it. Many people commented that they love the Canik models and primarily because they offer so much in the case and they love the way they handle overall and they're very confident with it. So, so Canik took that one, but we're going to get into this one and I think it's going to be a little bit tighter, so let's get to it. Let's begin with Bursa and we'll start with the BP9CC, a single stack 9mm handgun that many people call their CCW gun. Three point three inch barrel polymer frame ambidextrous magazine release and a magazine that carries eight rounds in a single stack format it does have a rail there for the accessories and the trigger is what sells it now i have to insert the mag because it does have a magazine disconnect but around a four pound trigger very light and check out this reset right there for the follow-up shots i really enjoy it at the range it's a quick shooter it is accurate and it does everything that you want your subcompact handgun to do now the one that is extremely impressive to me is the bursa tpr9 this is a full-size handgun it has a magazine that carries 17 rounds the barrel length is four and a quarter it has an aluminum frame a 1913 rail ambidextrous slide stop and thumb safety slash decocker but the thing that is so impressive, all right, is the trigger. Check this out. Very short and light single action trigger pull, but look at the reset. That is shorter than a SIG SRT, in my opinion, or at least comparable. I mean, that is so short. It's just a nice gun that can be purchased for right in the mid 300s, maybe even a little less if you can catch it. On sale another thing that I find real interesting about this gun is to disassemble all you do is move that lever down and off comes the slide you have full-length frame rails and that keeps everything nice and tight and also adds to the accuracy but there it is Bursa TPR 9 now let's check out those Diamondbacks Diamondback came out with two phenomenal handguns in 2019 and let's start with the Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. The Gen 4 model is what's new and this one here is actually plus P rated. Probably the smallest and lightest 9mm handgun that I am aware of. It has a improved grip, a magazine that carries 6 rounds and it's loaded weight with 7 rounds is 16 and a quarter ounces so that is extremely light and thin 0.81 inches wide uh, the width of the slide but the one thing that diamondback really improved on was the trigger it's a little heavier initially right around seven pounds but they improved the reset and i think they did that to suit pocket carriers that would look at a gun like this and say you know what that's so small and light it's the size of many micro 380s but they made it in nine millimeter and the gen 4 model is plus p rated and they improved that trigger and the overall look i think is very nice i'm very much also impressed with the diamondback am2 this is a larger gun it has a double stack magazine that carries 12 rounds 3.5 inch barrel not sure if i mentioned 3.1 inch barrel over here all right, so it's larger here. It's got a real solid feel to it. Three finger contact. This does have a trigger bar safety in there. Very nice trigger pull. You're looking at a reset right there. Uh, front serrations, you can see it's got a neat look to it. Matte finish on the slide. Has a sight hole indicator for the loaded brass. Three dot sights. A striker fire indicator right there that goes away when the slide has not been charged but it's most impressive at the range when i took this to the range i really enjoyed it it's performed great for me a lot of people are warming up to the diamondback models and i've heard nothing but good comments about this am2 and in my opinion it's quite impressive so there it is which one of these companies make the better handgun do you feel it's bursa or is it diamondback let me know i'll check out your comments i read them all and I'll add them up for the next 
Handgun Showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.